Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jackie and this is Jackie and the Leafstock channel where we talk about houseplants. So in today's video, it's just gonna be like a really chill chit chat, repot with me. I have a couple of water propagations that I wanna transfer to soil. I am also considering switching this Snow Queen Pothos into a smaller terracotta pot. I'll explain later. And then I also have a Hoya Carii that I just don't like the soil and I think it's just time to repot it. So that's what we're gonna do today. It's a very chill, like relaxed video. So I hope you enjoy and we'll just get into repotting and talking a bit. Okay, so I hope you'll be able to see just fine. I'm gonna move that. And then if I need a close up, I'll move you closer. But today's soil mixture for the most part is Foxy Farms Ocean Forest. And then I have some orchid bar mix here in the middle. This is just um, a local or <laughs> This is just a local orchid bark mix that I pick up at the nursery um, and it has chunks of orchid bark, it has um, chunks of horticultural charcoal, it also has chunks of lava rock, and then on this side is perlite. And then if I need more drainage, I have like a little extra side pot of um, the orchid bark mix. But for the most part, this is what I'm using today. Um, I use the forest, the ocean farms, forest, whatever, whatever. I'll have it linked down below. I used it for the first time last week because I wanted to try it and I love it. So I'm just gonna mix this up and then we'll get into it. Um, so I wanted to talk about um, my experience being a, I guess you can say, plant vendor for the first time. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I did a pop-up market Sunday, this past Sunday, which was March 21st. I did it, um, it's kind of like on the outskirts of Houston. It was in the Spring Woodlands area. And yeah, I just wanted to share my experience with that because I'm sure some people are interested and yeah that's gonna be the first topic today so let me just finish mixing this and then we'll get into it so this is pretty much the mixture I really like how it looks right now I probably will need to add a little bit more drainage um, when I do the Hoya so I'm gonna save that this for when I repot the Hoya Carii but Okay, let me start off by saying I want to thank every person that came out to the market. I want to thank every person who has sent me kind messages, who has supported me. Of course, like family and friends, but also, you know, just friends on the internet, acquaintances, people I've met. Everybody was super sweet and supportive even before Sunday. So I just want to say thank you. I really, really appreciate it because this was really nerve wracking for me. Um, and I'm going to try to put my thoughts together in like a way that makes sense. So I think I'm going to start off with um, transferring the Trends to Scandia Nanook. I have two um, jars of it and the roots are pretty, I mean, they're ready. They grow really fast. And I'm gonna transfer that into a nursery pot. So, okay, let me talk a little bit, do a little bit, and then we'll get into it. Okay, so it went really good. Um, the market went really good, and I just had a really good experience overall. So, I have some footage, and I'll go ahead and pop that in here and show you guys, you know, um, basically, I've been hoarding plants for a little bit. I've been doing my own propagations here at home since like last fall. And it's just been a working progress, progress basically. It's been a working progress. And um, I had a good amount of plants. So the whole 
I would say theme of like my pop-up market was I wanted to have some plants in terracotta and I also wanted to have some plants just um, in regular nursery pots because I know terracotta is not for everyone, but that's what I really enjoy and I like to put my plants in. So there's that. So I spent last week pretty much preparing the plants that I was gonna have in terracotta and putting them in their arrangements and just cleaning up plants in general and you know seeing how I was gonna put everything together. So that was fun. I really enjoyed that. So these arrangements that I make or any of the propagations or any plants that I've had for a while were with my own soil mixture. Like I took the time to repot them and Anyways, that's a little bit of backstory. So then it was, the day came and I was so nervous leading up to like the event cause I really was just like, who's gonna come? What if people like are not interested? You know, you, you start to self doubt yourself, but um, my mom helped me in the morning. So we loaded up her truck and then we loaded up my car. I had the plants in them and I was like, yeah, the plants need to be with me in case something topples over or something happens. Um, my mom doesn't have much experience driving with plants. So I went ahead and did that. And then she helped me set up the tent and the area. And it was just a good experience. Um, everybody was so nice that came. Even if they didn't buy a plant, they complimented it or just said something nice. And that's really all I wanted. I just wanted people to be nice and have a good experience. Um, for me, it's more about like, let me show you how to take care of the plant versus basically here, just buy anything. Um, and like I said, I've had some of these propagations for just a really long time. Um, I think I have footage from like, September or October of me saying that, you know, I want to do this next year. I want this to be like a goal of mine. And by no means was it easy. And I don't even mean to say that and like, oh, this is really hard. I mean, like mentally, it's not easy putting yourself out there. Um, I think for me, I, it was always kind of like, well, there's a lot of other people out there who are more experienced than me or what, what are people gonna say? What are my plant friends gonna say? What are random people on the internet gonna say about me? And you know what? You can't care what other people think um, in the long term. And that was just something that I had to get over with or basically get over. Um, I was doing this for me, for myself, and this was something that was just gonna be fun. This was gonna be something that brought me joy this was something that, okay, I'm gonna try it. And if it doesn't work, okay, it doesn't work. Like I tried it and that's that. So this is the Trasdiscandia. Oh, it's so pretty. I really wanted to cut mine back, one, to give to my cousin, but two, so, because it's starting to trail and I wanna keep it bushier. So this is Trasdiscandia Nanook one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move on. And I bought this really cute terracotta pot when I was in Austin. And this is a Hoya, I believe it's a Hoya Matil, I believe, but I could be wrong. It was in sphagnum and then I put it in water. I don't even know how this is gonna go, but we're just gonna transfer it. This pot's super cute and small, so I think it'll, it'll be fine. Okay, so back to what I was saying about the market. I was struggling for a bit at the beginning. Basically, I doubt myself a lot. And even though I knew this is what I wanted to do, I knew I was capable, capable of it. I knew I had the support for it. I was still searching for like exterior validation, basically. I was still searching for like, oh, a magic thing is gonna fall and hit me on the head and say, go ahead and do it, Jackie. Um, and it basically took, you know, events happening for me to realize like, oh no, you cannot wait on other people and the world is gonna go on whether you do this or not. 
Um, so that was really hard for me. But nonetheless, I'm here. I'm talking about my first experience. And I just have nothing but good things to say about it. I will say I have like, like personal takeaways from it. Also, I have like, okay, now that I have one under my belt, now I can pretty much like see, okay, is this something that I want to continue to do? Is this only for the meantime? Is this gonna be like a long-term goal? Who knows? So the root system is still super small, but we're just gonna stick it in there, see what happens. It's so small. I'll show you when it's done. So basically, it took a lot of, that's why I said, this was not something hard to pull off. I think anybody who is truly passionate about plants can do this. I think anybody who, you know, has a desire to have a pop-up market can do it. Um, I believe in you. I think it's more like the mental thoughts that get in your way, which, you know, comes with a lot of things in life. Okay, I'm not going to fill this one up all the way because it is a tiny baby, but I think I'm going to fill it up a little bit more. Oh my God, it's so small. Okay, this is, this is a little bit of an experiment because I really don't know how it's going to do. But bam, one tiny plant in the Hoya. <laughs> the plants are so cute. I don't know how this is going to do. We're just going to, it's going to be experiments. Okay, so this is the Hoya Carii that I want to repot. It has new growth coming out. I'm really hoping that the new growth like comes through because it had two growth points here and they fell off and I'm not sure why. But we're going to repot this into a four inch terracotta pot. But basically my takeaway and advice is one, I don't want to say I did this by myself, but it took me trusting myself and just basically not caring what other people think to do this because nobody in my family has like knowledge of plants like I do. Nobody understands the vision, I guess you can say, that I had for, you know, I wanted some of these plants in terracotta. I didn't want some of these plants in terracotta. Yes, I have a great support system. But at the end of the day, it was me having to make that decision that, hey, I want to do this and I have the support. I have the people that basically are there for me. But at the end of the day, it's just me. And I, and I really just mean that as in like, if it wasn't for me making up my mind saying, I'm going to do this then it wouldn't have been possible as much as other people try to convince me or to convince me otherwise. So you have to make the decision for yourself. So whatever your dream is, whatever aspirations in life you have, whatever your goal is, I would say trust yourself enough to do it because you can have 50 people on your side and if you're not ready to do it or if you're self-doubting yourself, Okay, okay, I picked these up yesterday at um, Home Depot. So, kind of going along with that, if you can't care what other people think, and I know that's a lot harder said than done, like a lot harder said than done, and I can tell you from like my own experience, I really rely on other people validating my opinions, validating my thoughts, validating anything. Um, like if I was like, oh, I want to buy this pink shirt, even though I already know I want to buy the pink shirt, I ask like five other people and then I'll come through with it. <laughs> and I know that's real silly, but that's what I'm saying is you can't, in this type of scenario, you can't, oh, I'm going to make some of the... I'm going to mix some of the charcoal or the orchid bark mix into this on this side of the mixture because it needs a little bit more drainage since it's a Hoya. So basically, you can't worry about what other people think. You just need to be secure in yourself. And trust me, if you would have asked me this like in December, 
I would have been very hesitant. I would have been very just, yeah, I wouldn't have done it. I would have been too worried about, oh, is so-and-so going to show up and support me? Oh, what are people on the internet going to think of me? Are they going to think, you know, that I think I know everything or they're going to, you know, you're just worried about what other people think essentially. And that just sucks, but that basically comes with like our culture like our culture here in America of how like we use other people for validation and you know we could get into a whole thing about that but let's just say that there was a lot of things out of my control at the beginning of this year and I just learned that okay well you know what I can only control myself I can only you know, do as much work as I can to finish what I basically started. And here we are, guys, talking about my first market. I'm sorry. I hope all of that makes sense. I just wanted to come from like an honest position that, no, it's not hard to start this. It's just more hard mentally to believe in yourself and not care about what people think and take people's advice with a grain of salt and it all just comes down to you oh lord jesus i don't know if you can see the root system on this one i'm not repotting it because it needs a repotting i'm repotting because i just don't like the soil and the top couple inches were already um basically not absorbing anything and just staying crusty and nasty but this is a hoya carii that basically has you know, it's not just a one leaf cutting. <laughs> Those I don't believe grow. So I just wanted to remove, I don't want to mess with the soil um, or the roots too much. So I'm just going to leave it like that and then pot it into the terracotta. Okay. Anyway, to take away from all of that that I said, I had a really good experience. I had some Instagram friends come from far away to come to my um, pop-up shop. I had tons of family and friends that came. Everyone was so nice and I don't regret it at all. It was such a fun experience and I just can't thank people enough. Even people who didn't come but that I know are supporting me from afar. People who I've told that this has been like a vision and goal since like last year those people know who they are and I appreciate them for just basically you know pushing me and giving me that space to speak to them about it and the encouragement but all that being said thank you I do have um, I will be doing more I have two others scheduled as of now I'm looking into doing another one next week um, i'm just waiting to hear back so this is definitely like a project um a side business a side hustle that i'm really looking forward to and like i said it's not all about like oh i'm a business person and i sell plants um i think for me it's more about the experience talking to people giving them little care guides um telling them like oh what plants do you like are you into plants are you not into plants can i get you into plants <laughs> so it's just been a really good experience overall and i look forward to the next couple that i have but speaking of plants i want to know if this is an issue going on where you live but the plant supplies here in houston has been um just crap to be honest so i've gone i went to two home depots two lows i went to local nurseries and i don't know if it's just because like okay i already have a lot of these common plants or is it no i really just think supply is really low because i can't even find a four inch brazil for lodendron i can't find a four inch golden pothos 
I can't find like a lot of these, you know, typical common house plants. And it's just a bummer because I used to like going to like Home Depot and Lowe's just for like a casual browse, a casual de-stress. And it's just been sucking so bad. So I'm curious to know if this is going on where you live too, or because you know, we did get hit by the winter storm a couple weeks ago. So my first, you know, thoughts are, well, it's because of that, that the stock is like low because obviously a lot of the plants died and these nurseries are having to source from other places, et cetera, et cetera. But also, I, I don't know what's going on, but it's, it's a bummer <laughs> because it's just like, okay, yes, I already have some of these common house plants, but sometimes I just like to go just to walk around and I do live on the outskirts of Houston, so I can't always go to like just any nursery. So it's been, it's been a struggle bus over here trying to just have a casual browse and look at pretty plants. Another thing is like the quality of the plants, at least the local nurseries near me, they used to be really good, but you want to charge me $20 for a Monstera in a four inch pot that has two vines in it that is just so beat up and yellow. Like, ugh, it's just mind blowing to me. And yeah, so let me know down in the comments down below if you've also been struggling with like quantity and quality um, in your area. I'm just curious if it's like a all over thing or if it's just Houston because or Texas because we're recovering from the storm. Hey, I really like it. So this is the Hoya Carrii. Okay, so I think I am going to go ahead and do this one. So as you can see, it's basically on one side. There, I must have just did a really crappy repotting when I originally did this because there was like two or three strands that I now have in water that um, basically came out and I basically needed to take them out because they weren't secure enough in here. So I want to take it out and this is a pretty big pot um, and now that they're smaller or it's less um i'm gonna put it into this one and just see how it goes but yeah this is my snow queen i just repotted this last summer or last spring so i it's not like in dire need of like a new soil so this is basically the root system but i think like this here feels like probably old soil from like even before i repotted it so I'm gonna try to break it down because that shouldn't stay that. But the roots look good. This is one of the plants that I was really bad about, <laughs> really bad about underwatering in terms of like, I let it droop for a couple days and then get to it. And I'm pretty sure, you know, that does damage to the root system and they all don't look the best. <laughs> but at least I still have some good roots. So I have gotten better at it. I think for a minute, I was really just, well, like personal life, I was really just um, going through it, which is normal, you know? And I really just neglected like a lot of things and plants was one of them, even if it is like a really big passion of mine. I have definitely gone through cycles, like besides my mental health, where I just fall out of interest with my plants. And I think it's normal, um, but recently, I would say like the past two to three weeks, like once I started making arrangements or, you know, the arrangements for the pop-up market and I started getting my hands in the dirt. And once I started, um, I recently rearranged like, not my whole entire setup, but I rearranged the area that some of the plants were in 
it just really inspired me again. So that's why when I went to like Home Depot and like the local nursery, I was like, ooh, I can add some more plants. But then no, because there isn't any. So I just want to normalize that it's normal to go through periods of time where you're just not into your hobby or your passion and that's okay um yeah there was just a lot that happened at the beginning of this year and i think it happens to every single person and i just felt really like even though i took care of my plants it wasn't something that i was like oh looking forward to or just nothing was really sparking like that joy for me anymore and i wouldn't say until recently and it probably has to do also that it's springtime you know oh that's really long okay so i think i'm gonna leave it like that so it probably does have to do with that it's springtime the plants are starting to come back to life um i can definitely noticing like the growth in them the light i have a west facing window in my plant room and the lighting is just real different now <laughs> So it's just different. So I think now that spring's here, my mood has changed a little bit. Um, my interest in plants, you know, is starting to come back. I'm starting to want to be creative. I'm wanting to repot. I'm wanting to water them and everything. So that's my little plant life update. So I filled it up. Probably just like a quarter of the way because she does have some hefty roots already and I think I'm just gonna plop her in like this I just need to make sure I, I my problem has always been that I don't initially put it down deep enough and that's why you know it happens and I think that's what initially happened. Like it was too much on the surface. So let's see how I do this time. So how about you leave down in the comments down below. What is your favorite thing about spring? Has your like basically passion or anything changed now that springtime has arrived? I've been wanting to do nursery tours that's been a bust a little bit so sorry about that um hopefully i can start doing them again um there is a nursery in houston that just expanded their greenhouse it's called buchanan's native plants and they're a little bit on the pricier side but they usually have a good selection so i'm excited to see now that they have expanded like what their selection is going to be like so that's something to look forward to Okay, I'm done with that. Looks good. It is already trailing, so. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for the repotting today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope my conversation made sense. This was just like a chill catch up with me. Let's talk about my market. Let's talk about other plant stuff. So final products, I'm happy with them. I'm gonna give them a good watering and then see if I need to add any additional soil, like if there's air pockets and stuff. This one's so cute, and I'll keep you guys updated on that one. But like I said, thank you for all the support, even here on YouTube. Thank you for all the support in the pop-up markets. Um, I really, 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 really appreciate it. You guys have no idea um, how hard I've been on myself um, in general, that's how I am. I overthink things, I overanalyze things, I doubt myself, and it takes a lot for me to be here doing what I'm doing. So, but I appreciate it, and I appreciate all my plant friends who have been super supportive of me. So, my advice <laughs> I'm gonna repeat it again um, you can only control yourself, you can't control what other people think about you you can't control if they support you or not you can't control if they're there for you or not you can only control yourself 
So just remember that. You can't care what other people think. I think they go hand in hand. Yes, if somebody's trying to give you advice, take it. But nonetheless, it's only you and what you can do for yourself. So I want hugs to everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for sitting here and watching me repot plants and ramble. Um, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.